So hey everyone, this is Jason Devlin, and uh, Travis has asked me to make a model for the dragon, so I'd like to start off in ZBrush, uh, using Zephyrs to rough my quick model out, it doesn't restrict me too much, so pretty much I'll just click on a Z sphere. Draw it on the canvas, I'll press shift, keeps it all aligned, and put it in edit mode, which is T, and now I want to do this on the X symmetry, so I'll press X, and there we go. So, start off, I'm going to stretch a body out, and I'll get the two green lined up, and I'll just draw that, and I usually push shift, it'll give me the same size as the one that I came off of. W, we'll move these around, so... Q, draw a dot there, that's going to be the front shoulder, and this is going to be the, the back legs are going to be there, so I'm going to draw like the shoulder, get that going there, and I'll draw another one, press shift, and do that here too. One there, another one there, shift, spin it around, press W, and stretch out the back legs, stretch out the front legs, press frame, get things back in line. I also like to work in local transformation, so whatever spot I'm working on, when I rotate the screen, it always rotates around that. Scale this down a little bit. So we still have move on. Move that. And get the longer neck going here. And I'll move this. And I'll press Q. I'll draw the knee here. I have to put a couple on the back. Press W again. Move them around a little. And use a scale tool, scale his tail down to a small point. And frame this back up. So I found this good little trick for doing wings. Uh, draw mode. Uh, I'll make my draw size a little bit smaller around five maybe and click right around there draw that draw another one shift and then I'll pull those out stretch it out good and far 
And I'll press W. Intersection there. Oh. Q limit. No. Oops. So as you're doing your Z-spheres, sometimes I like to press go to Adaptive Skin. And you got a couple choices here. You can preview either the regular Adaptive Skin or the Classic Skinning. Uh, just play. I like to play around with these. I've tried this before, and the Classic Skinning usually works pretty good for this. Try again. So I'll click use the Classic Skinning and do a preview. So, we've got something here with some sort of alright, but not that good. So, play around with some of these numbers, intersections, and put those up around there, and I'll try that out. So now it's kind of filled my wing in naturally and made. They're all nice squares. ZBrush likes to make it everything nice and square. So, yeah, that's a good sort of start for a wing. And so let's click the preview off. And I'll put like eye in. So the way you do eyes and. Z spheres to get some good edge flow is you're in draw mode and pretty much you just draw right where you want. So I got that there and then I'll move it. Oh shit. I want to move it back inside the mouse is screwing up. Move it. Inside makes a hole like that. So I'm just gonna scale this up to show you. So now when I press A to do the preview, you can see I put polyframe on. You can see here you got some good edge flow for the eye. Which is important when you want to animate it after. So and something really interesting about doing your classic skinning is when you do the preview it already does your own poly groups everything's all ready and oh it's not what I want to do That's not what I want. Okay. So 
There we go. I haven't been on ZBrush for a little bit. But, uh. Yeah, you can just hold Shift and Control and click on what you want or don't want. Let's play around. So now I can just work on the front legs if I want to. Let's frame that up. Oh, and the head's still there. So. And get rid of those as well. And just frame that up. So now I can specifically just work on the legs, move them around, get inside any little place where I would have trouble doing the whole thing. And so I'll take the preview back off. And Oh, I had like three toes. So just be in draw mode. And put one there. One there. Don't have to be too precise. You can always move them around a bit after. And you can preview that and it should do all those toes and different groups, different colors or different groups, so I can do each work on each toe as I want. And frame that up. So it's gonna make it easy to work on each toe. So uh Yeah I'll keep working away at that and that's uh the basics to get a good clean mesh with good poly groups to get started on my model. And thank you all for listening. I'll catch you in my next one.